So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start with a new tab here. And then we're just gonna build this from scratch. So um, we're just gonna start with a background here. So I'm gonna select the whole uh, sheet, just clicking up here between A and one. And then I'm just gonna set this background to this gray. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically build this um, box that we have, and then we'll fill in with our calculations. So what we're gonna do here is um, resize this to 20. We'll see how many we have. We go over to I and then down to 26. So over to I, I'm gonna delete the rest of these and then 26. So I'm gonna select this and then scroll down, hit shift, click on the last one, right click and delete rows. And then let's go ahead and resize this one to 20. And then we'll go ahead resize these to let's do 15 all right now we have the basic size now we need to fill in our box here so we have this top box here so i actually merged these two rows inside here so what we have here is c to g we should merge that we'll make that white and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make this all white and these two here white. So there we go. Now you're kind of seeing that shape there. If we make this border here like that, and then let's go ahead and make the border for the rest of this. I'm just gonna select this, and using that same double thickness, I'm gonna do top, left side, and bottom. And then on this side, we're gonna do right side, bottom, and top. And then finally, let's get our border on the bottom there, just like that. So now it's starting to take shape. Let me go ahead and just copy this text over here. Um, and so let's get rid of this extra white space here. And then I'm going to horizontally and vertically center this. And then let's just pick this, um, this font here. Let's change this maybe 24 and bold. There you go. So what we're gonna do now is just build our input section. So we need to determine the gender, age, weight, height, and activity level. So we're gonna go ahead, sorry, and I'm just gonna copy this text here, and I'm just gonna paste the values only. So that is values only here, um, just so I can walk you guys through how to do this formatting. So first of all, let's add this drop down here. So male, female, and then you can leave it as a chip if you like, that's what this is called. Or we can go to advanced options and change that to an arrow. And you can see it shows up like that. So age, we can leave blank. Weight, we can leave blank. Height, we can leave blank. And then we need to do this activity level drop down, which goes like this. That comes from our activity level modifier. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this over. And again, I'll, I'll walk you guys through formatting this. So I just selected these, go ahead and merge that. Center, again, we'll do this. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our formatting. So what we have here is a border on the outside. Um, let's go ahead and change this. And add a little darker here. And then let's add a double border. So we still have that there, just like that. And then let's add a border inside. Actually, let's first merge these. So these don't need to take up uh, a single cell. We'll just add it like that so we don't have those borders there. Um, and let's add some borders inside. So I'm gonna change this to that color and a single inside, just like that. So if you notice, we don't have any uh, grid lines over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you what that looks like there. I'm gonna leave it on just for now while we finish building so we can kind of see where we're at. So let me get the rest of this in here. So we got BMR. We'll go there for BMR, and then there's a formula there, so we'll walk through that in a second. Then we have this section with the daily caloric baseline there, and we come up with some targeted macros, and then our estimated personal stats. So let's go ahead and get those worked in. So this text, I'll go ahead and copy that, and then we'll look at, so that's C11. I'm just making a reference there for myself, so C11. And then this is actually 
two rows here and two columns. And if you can see, that's merged. So I'm going to go ahead and just select that there. And then we have that base targeted macros here. And then we'll merge that. And then finally, we have this protein, carbs, and fat. And so let me add that there. And let's merge those in the middle. And then finally, estimate personal stats. Let's add that there. And then here's our final ones there. So uh, let's do values only. And there we are. So now we can just add our formatting and then start filling in our formulas. So let me merge these cells. Center, center, and then let's center this one, center this one, and then let's merge this. And we'll actually merge that because that's where we're going to display our BMR. And then let's start putting together. So at the top we have a dark orange for our primary color. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then change our font to white just to make that more clear. And center and bold these. And then let's add some of that border. So we'll pick that same color, double thick. And then I'm going to start with this all borders. And then we're going to go back. So unselect and then reselect. That's just the way borders work. If we're going to change the color, we have to undo that. Um, and then I'll do that. Let's go ahead and change that. Maybe I'll make this a little wider so that fit that fits there. Perfect. And then we can leave the rest of these open, except for that one. We'll get to that one in a second. And let's do an orange here. Maybe center this. And then we want to pull these up into here in a drop down. So we're going to go ahead and add a drop down. And we'll do from a range. And I'm going to select this. And now I can just select those cells and it'll show up in my drop down here. So again, I'm going to go back down and select arrow under advanced options. And now we can see that there. So let me just add some stuff here. 38, 197, 72, just some basic stats here. Maybe we can change that font there. And let's go to the next section. So this one I just have gray. You can change whatever color you like on this. Um, you can do colors from here, or you can add a custom color by adding this and you can paste in RGB or even just pick the color you want from the color picker. So I'm just going to go ahead and just pick this gray just for now. Um, change that font there. And then we'll go ahead and add this just like that. And then we had blue for this one. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is a dark blue. We'll change that to white. Change that to bold. We can make this maybe a little bigger. Uh, or we keep the same. Looks like we can go ahead and make this just a little taller there like that. Make that merge like that. And then let's make the inside of this be white. And then we'll make the outside the same color. So just like that. And then let's go ahead and do just the inside of these. All right. So finally, we have kind of this teal color here. Uh, so actually, we have all these on this one. And then let's go ahead and change our border there to that. And then let's make this inside one white. And then let's change that font to white. And bold. There we go. Maybe make these a little smaller just so they're not crazy big. Uh, maybe these two. Perfect. Now we pretty much have all those set up. Uh, let's just change the background color of these. Just make that fit a little better. And then this one, make it gray. Now we can go back and get rid of our grid lines, and it's already looking really clean. So the next thing we need to do is build our calculations. So what we want to start with is our BMR. And so what we have here is an if statement. If this is male, then we have this calculation. And so I'm not going to walk you through what this calculation is, because this is, uh, as I say here, the Mifflin uh, 
St. George formula. I don't know how to pronounce that. And so for a male, this is the calculation. It comes off of their age, their weight, and their height. And then for a female, it does the same thing in a different way. So let me go ahead and just copy this formula for now. And then let me just walk you through at least this first one. So it's 10 times their weight um, times 0.45. So they're, this is the first part of the formula is 10 times their weight times 0.45 plus 6.25 times their height in inches by two times um, by times 2.54. And so what these conversions are, if you don't, if you're not catching on, this is converting pounds to uh, kilograms, this is converting inches to centimeters, and then finally our weight times five plus five. So that's basically what's happening there. Uh, I'm not going to walk you through the whole thing. You can copy um, this formula for your own use. Um, but I'm not going to walk through why they calculate it that way because the scientists came up with that, not me. All right. So next, we want to get our TDEE, which is Total Daily Energy Expenditure, um, which is your daily caloric baseline. This is basically how much your body will consume in calories. So all we're doing here is our BMR times our activity level modifier. So if we have little or none, for example, we're modifying by 1.2. So that's all we're doing here with a simple VLOOKUP. So if we go over here, uh, let me merge these actually. There we go. So we're just taking this cell times, and we're going to use a VLOOKUP, and a VLOOKUP is just to reference this from this table down below. And since we merged these first two, C and D, we're going to pick our index will be 3, and then false for exact match, and there is our baseline. Let me just set that up there. All right, so what we have next is our base targeted macros. So for some of you guys, maybe this isn't interesting to you, but that's where we're going to go. So the base target macros, and this is the si best science I could find. You guys might have your own metrics on this, but the base I found for this was um, your weight in pounds times 1.2 to equal the grams for your protein macro. So weight times 1.2, and there's our protein macro. And then for carbs, we're going to get um, a number from the difference between um, what we need and the proteins and fats. So I'll get to that in a second. So fat is going to be our weight times 0.2. Let's go ahead and do that. And that gives us 39.4. Let's go ahead and just center all these. There we go. All right. So what are we doing with the carbs? So the carbs is our total calories minus the calories from protein and calories from fat. So protein has about four calories per gram. Fat has about nine. And then so once we determine how many calories they have, carbs, there is um, about the same as protein. There's about four, um, four calories per gram, if I'm thinking about that correctly. So let's go ahead and put this together. So what we're doing is total calories minus uh, this divided by 4 plus this divided by 9. We need to make both of those, uh, wrap both of those here. And then we need to wrap this whole thing and divide it by 4. So let's see if we're even close here. Did I miss something here? Um, Missed, missed that there. Uh, I think we need one more. What am I missing here? So C13 minus E13 times 4. Oh, I did divide by, not times. Good thing I have you guys here to help me out. There we go. <clears throat> all right so now let's jump down to bmi and so again bmi and this is just keep in mind these are these are rough estimations 
you're going to get a lot closer if you do, for example, a skin thickness and stuff like that. But this is the best I could find as far as a rough formula for BMI. And so this is just based on um, their weight and their height. So this doesn't even have a modifier for gender or anything like that. So um, this isn't super accurate, but this is going to at least give you an idea of where you're at. So BMI, let's just do one less. So um, <clears throat> body fat again. So this one, we do have a modifier. I'll walk you through this formula real quick. So for male, we have this formula. For female, we have this formula. And so what we're doing is we're using um, gender and age and our BMI to calculate our rough body fat percentage. All right, so from here, now we can calculate our lean body mass, which we're doing our total minus our body fat. So what's our body fat? Well, our body fat is simply our weight times our body fat percentage. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So weight times body fat percentage. And so this tells you roughly uh, how many pounds of your body is fat. And so then this lean mass is going to be just the difference between your weight, total weight, and your body fat. Now, essential fat, our last field, is based on this calculation that men need roughly 4%, women need roughly 12 So that's all this is doing for our essential fat. All right, so let's go ahead and just finish up this here with a little format. And then maybe make these fields a little bit bigger we'll resize those maybe like 28 and center those just to make it a little nicer there and that is it so we've completed our calculator walk through all the formulas and so i will have a link to this in the description below so you can download this calculator um, and check out these formulas for yourself um, and adjust them as needed for your own purposes otherwise you can just use this calculator as is um, or you can just walk along with us and build it from scratch and learn more about Google Sheets and some of the formatting tricks that I used here. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Make sure to check out our other tutorials for more tips and tricks on both Google Sheets and AppScript. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.